frankly exhausted of Brett. More than 70% of people tell the country is on the wrong track. They say the country is on the wrong track. If it's on the wrong track, that track follows three and a half years of you being vice president and President Biden being president. That is what they're saying, 79% of them. Why are they saying that? If you're turning the page, you've been in office for three and a half years. And Donald Trump has been running for office. But you've been the person <laughs> holding on, the office. Come on. Madam you Vice and I president. both know what I'm talking about. You and I both know what I'm talking about. I actually about. don't. What are you talking about? Uh, what I'm talking about is that over the last decade, but people you're the have become. Of power. But listen, over the last decade, it is clear to me, and certainly the Republicans who are on stage with me. Trump frankly exhausted of Brett. More than 70% of people tell the country is on the wrong track. They say the country is on the wrong track. If it's on the wrong track, that track follows three and a half years of you being vice president and President Biden being president. That is... Shalom. Call her law. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's given all praise to the Most High. The name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honest to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. My name is Ibar, I'm the prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And uh, just real quick, I want to go into this clip you just seen. It says, uh, funnier than any parody. All right. And I say it's, I, I would say it's funny as well, too, because you see in her face, you know, the way she was just looking. I know, I'll play some more. What they're saying, 79% of them. Why are they saying that? If you're turning the page, you've been in office for three and a half years. And, <laughs> and you just see the completely, you know, lost look in her face. You know, like she don't really know what the hell is going on. She don't really know what to say. And this is all because she has, you know, left her purpose. A woman has no place in any type of seat of power. Any type of, um, you know, uh, authority over men, that's that's not a place for a woman. You women were created to serve the man. You were created really to be, you know, um, a wife, you know, which this woman is married to a damn small hat. All right. But you were created to be a wife. You wasn't created to be trying to run a, run no country. OK. Or, or be in no high position. And the reason why this country is going the way it's going is because, you know, this place upholds women. In positions that they're not supposed to be in. All right, there's an order, and this is completely out of order. So as you've seen, yeah, she said, you, you and I both know what, we're what I'm talking about, and she doesn't know what she's talking about. And he said, I actually don't. What are you talking about? And she kind of froze up, like, and then she started the, the, the cackling again. You know, so this is not the place for a woman to be. And if this woman does get into office, hey, that's going to definitely be the destruction of America, man, because these are the countries, these are the nations over there in the east and stuff they don't respect this they, they they don't want nothing to do with this they don't they don't allow their woman to most most, most countries their woman can't even drive much less drive a uh, or uh you know um drive a country okay um lead a country all right they don't trust them to drive because they you know there's a whole thing where women can't drive and stuff but the point is that that's not the way it was set up so let's grab a few scriptures just making touch on that point because as you see, Kamala Harris is completely lost and uh, it's only going to get worse as times, you know, speed up. So this is a uh, first Timothy chapter two, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. You women are supposed to be in subjection. OK, not trying to overrule or, you know, be, you know, in, in, a, in a position of authority. It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. A woman are supposed to be in silence. It says, for Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression. Not with, uh, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity with, and holiness with sobriety. All right. So you women are going to be saved in childbearing. That's what you were created for, to bear children, to, to, to help, you know, um, um, to help keep, you know, uh, take care of the house. You know, cleaning, cooking. And nowadays, if you talk to a woman, she's going to ask, she's going to ask, she, this is how you know this place is completely out of order. A woman will ask you, do you know how to cook? When a man should be asking the uh, woman that. And the woman will, 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 want, will want to sit on the couch and watch TV while you cook. You know, and a lot of these simps, they do it. 
you know, I was, I, I was looking at this, um, some random person's live. It was in a whole other country on the other side of the world. Uh, it was a woman. Her name was Sarah, and she was out teaching. You know, she appeared to be an Edomite woman. She called herself out teaching the Bible. And, you know, I, I, I kept dropping this precept, and the comments, was, I got timed out. People was upset. They all got mad. And then I'm like, why y'all getting mad? I'm just posting the scripture. You know, it's just a scripture. But it just goes to show you that, you know, we live in a world where simps, you have a bunch of simps, which is someone idolizing mediocre puss, okay? That they, 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 they have, you know, forwarded this bullshit, which is just a bunch of confusion, all right? And the Lord's got to come back and set things back in his righteous order. It says, they even, they even think that there's a thought of a woman ruling a country, you know, that could be a possibility, shows you this puss is out of, is out of order. It says, First uh, Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 in the NLT. Women should learn quietly and submissively. I do not let women teach men or have authority over men. So if you put a, a female in, 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 uh, in, 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 in that seat to be president, you know, as they call it, commander in chief, you're putting a woman over authority of men. Not to mention this is supposed to be, you know, a superpower. America's a superpower. America's, you know, was ruling over all these other countries. Okay. And but they said since Kamala Harris and Biden got in office, they have lost about seven or eight embassies, man. So America is losing that grip, that power because America is uh, put, you know, a woman in power. It says should learn quiet. Oh, it's, it's verse 12. I do not let women teach men or have authority over them. Let them listen quietly. And that's what she should have been doing. Just listening quietly. But she had been trying to have an interview and trying to, you know, uh, you know, talk to men as if she is a man. It says, for the most high made Adam first and afterward he made Eve. So the man came first and it was not Adam who was deceived by Satan, but the, uh, the woman was deceived and sin was the result. So because of the woman, what Eve did, this is why we're here. This is why we're in this world that we're in the way the, the, way, the way the world is. Before that happened, we we hey, 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 we was in the garden, okay. But it just goes to show you what happens when a woman, you know, has any type of power of authority. It says, "But woman will be saved through childbearing." You you you're not gonna be saved off of how many precepts you know, how intellectual you are, how uh you know macho he man or she man you think you are. No, you're gonna be saved in childbearing. When what that mean? Ultimately, being a woman, okay, doing what you were created for. You are an incubator. It says, assuming they continue in to live in faith, love, holiness, and modesty. And you see, and these women, they have fallen far from that, okay? They, they, they don't know what modesty is. <laughs> they hate the word to submit, okay? They, they, they hate that stuff, all right? So the Lord's going to have to do something to, to set them straight. It says, um, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22, How long wilt thou go about, thou, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And this is what we see in the earth now. These women have compassed a man. All right. They have found themselves in, in positions of power and, uh, you know, seats that they're not supposed to be in, you know, talking over talking men. I was driving in traffic the other day and, I, and I, it was a woman that was parked next to me. And I just happened to look over and she like staring at me, which, which is, you know, I don't know what, what, what her problem was. But she was like, it was a black woman. She's staring me in my eyes. I don't know if she wanted Jake or what, but she was just staring me in my eyes. And I look over there and she just looking me dead in my eyes like a woman in the ancient world. They didn't do that. OK, they didn't do that. They were, you know, submissive. They were modest. A woman wouldn't, wouldn't even, you know, look a man directly in his eyes. And especially if you already had a man. I don't know if she had a man or not, but this just goes to show you that this puts us completely out of order. So the Lord got to come back and put things back in order. OK. It says, um, let me grab this. Um. All right. Let me grab this real quick. It says, um, this is Genesis chapter three, verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over you. You know, he or he shall rule over thee. So you women were created to be ruled over by a man, not the other way around. Nowadays, you got women that's ruling over men and you got men that's allowing that shit. That's with that shit. OK, which those are those are beta sip males that will be deleted when when this uh, place collapsed, man. 
you're going to have all the simps trying to go be Captain Saver Hose in that day. And they're going to get put to death with the woman. Okay? Or in front of the woman. All right? And then what's going to be left is the real men. Okay? Let me grab this real quick, too. Showing you the order. Okay? Because this place is completely out of order. And they don't understand order. So it's our job as the men of the Lord is to come back and establish order in the earth. And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is ultimately coming to do. Okay? And, he, and it starts with his men. This is why we are here prophesying, pushing this vibration. When the elders and apostles came out on these uh, on, on, on these platforms and, and pushed that manly vibration, now you got these red pale communities, now you got all this stuff. But it all, it all ultimately started with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and his men. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and a lot of people did not like that. Okay? Remember the, the elders and apostles came out on the video? But it's calling the damn Benjamin woman a slut, slut, slut. And that was putting a woman back in her place. She was all out of order, man. All right. And a lot of camps was talking shit about that. But that's that's the way it's supposed to be. A woman has no say or, or rule over any man. And if she thinks she does, then she's out of order. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai is the most high. So the head of the woman is the man. All right. There's an order. All right. It says, verse 8, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman created, was lucky, but the woman for the man. So you woman, you were created for men, not the other way around. All right. And in this society where it's, you have this simp culture, you know, that's pushed, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, that, 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 that queen of heaven spirit, man. All right. The Lord is not with that and we ain't with that. So, hey, the Lord set us up to put this place back in its righteous order or or um, and, and those of you that don't get an order that don't get in line, you will be destroyed with America. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. Kwame Shura, love, Baba, Baba, Princess, the edifying and hopeful that Shalom.